Welcome back. Get this. More than half of the households in the United States do not have enough money to buy a used car because the prices have skyrocketed so much due to demand. Right now, the average monthly payment for a used car is $520 per month, even when financed for the average of nearly six years. That average, by the way, is the monthly payment that was needed for a brand new vehicle five years ago. Two years ago, the average payment for a used vehicle was just under $400 a month, about $380 five years, $365 a decade ago. The rise in used car prices is a result of the pandemic. When the pandemic hit, chip makers shifted production from vehicles to computers. People began working from home and computers and laptop demand rose. But stimulus money helped boost the economy, which prompted demand for cars again. Chip makers couldn't respond fast enough for production. So now those with used cars are hanging on to them longer instead of trading them in. A man who knows all about this, Tom Mayoli, he's a car dealer in New Jersey, has five dealerships, both new and used cars, joins us uh, now. All right, Tom, um, who's getting rich off of all of this? Well, you know, it's interesting because it's like the housing market, right? If, as a dealer, clearly there's, our margins are up, the used car pricing is up, but when we go to buy a used car so that we have to resell it in the market or someone trades it, we have to pay top dollar to get that car. So it's, you know, it's, it's an interesting dynamic right now, but you also, you know, what's driving this process is not only the shortage of chips, but you also have companies like Hertz Enterprise and and the use and the uh, the, the uh, rental car companies and uh, who are buying now renting out used cars because they can't get new cars. It's it's a, it's it's the, the craziest time I've ever seen in the auto industry. And you know predictions are it's going to go through 20, 22, maybe into twenty three. So when I asked the initial question of who's getting rich, it sounds like kind of like when oil prices go up, the oil companies do better. You're doing better, but not as well as people might, might think. How does this end exactly? Of course. Well, you know, listen, at some point, it's like musical chairs, right? It's like who gets stuck with the chair, right? So it depends on when you bought in. It's like the real estate market. You know, in the real estate market, there's a theory called the greater fool theory. Who, you know, so you bought something for a million dollars and now it's worth a million two. And the next person is willing to pay a million five. But at some point, the music stops yeah. and somebody gets left with the chair and, th and that person loses money. So it's very difficult as a car dealer. Although we need inventory, we, there is no inventory. There's no new car inventory. We, we, yeah, well, we're buying every used car we can get our hands on. At some point, you're going to take a loss. When the music stops, you're going to take a loss. Right well, now, when, we're when the music the stops, of it. But this is not... When the music stops, there's a lot of consumers, though, conceivably, who are also going to take a loss, too, right? Oh, absolutely. The consumer is the one that's ultimately going to take it on the head because they're the ones that overpaid for it. It's like buying a house. You know, if, if, you've, if, if you're the fourth person in right. and you bought at the top of the market and the market corrects, you're going to get stuck with your house that's worth less than, than what you paid yeah, for. There's a lot of people this in, happens all the time. There's a lot of people who are still waiting for their house to be worth what they bought it at at the top of the bubble Correct. Uh, in 2008. You can see that now rhyming but not repeating with used cars. What's fueling Correct. the demand? You, obviously, you know, in order for prices to go up, you got to have demand. At some point, are people just saying, I'm not going to buy a car that was $10,000 more than it was a year and a half ago? No, it's, um, it's unbelievable. They're coming out in groves. They're buying people. The demand is, is greater than ever. You know, we went through the pandemic. People were home. They weren't out using their vehicles. All of a sudden, now they're back to work. They're driving to work. They're driving mm -hmm. their kids to school. Really, what they want to do is they want to buy new cars, but there are no new cars available. Well, I, the it's manufacturers funny. can't... Per it's funny you say that because when you watch television, uh, especially NFL games, there's car commercials still all the time. Why are manufacturers advertising things if there's not enough new cars? Well, listen, the manufacturer is very smart. What they want to do is they want to keep the consumer uh, highlighted and focused on their brand so that when ultimately the market comes back, they can, can, they can retain those customers. But really, if you look at what's going on in the marketplace regarding advertising, there's no, historically, they would advertise specials and what the lease prices were. That's not happening anymore. Right now, they're just advertising the brand. And people are coming in on a constant basis. The demand is growing on a, on a daily basis. And then the other thing that's happening in this, in this cycle is we're getting long in a tooth. And when 
I say long in the tooth is all these used cars that are out there that people are driving because they can't get new ones, they're, they, they no longer have 60 and 70,000 miles on it. They have 100 and 110. Hmm. You know, a car has a life cycle. When that life cycle ends, it comes to a point when the car's not worth fixing anymore. You know, and, and that's where we're getting in this cycle. So the, the pent up demand is just getting greater every day. Hey, you know what, Tom? I really appreciate you coming on and talking with us. This is a, a fascinating perspective yeah. um, and great Very information. Very fascinating. Yeah, no, 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 really. And, and your honesty about this is, uh, is refreshing. Thank you. Uh, we're going to have you back, uh, yeah. hopefully, at least once before the music stops, all right? Absolutely. <laughs> great to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.